Hey, what's up guys? So today I've decided I'm gonna make a tutorial about something pretty fun, which is just how to clone yourself in a video. You can have a lot of fun with this. I've made a few videos in the past. They're pretty fun, people liked them. So I decided I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. Here's the video I made about a month ago, or it was probably like four months ago. It doesn't matter, but here's that video so you can kind of see what that looks like, and then I'll show you how to do it. Oh, what the? What's up, dude? What's up, dude? You got some swag, man. Thanks, Holmes. What's up, bro? Thanks. My name is Isaiah. Mine is too. Really? Yeah. Yeah, we do. That's a nice bro. You're yeah. a freaking good look. You're some fast looking good boys. Good. You know what I mean? We are good, bro. We look good. Hi. Right. Peace. Peace out, man. Okay, so now we're gonna open Premiere Pro. And uh, if it's not obvious by now, basically you're gonna be filming two clips and putting them over each other, making it look like it's one clip. So here's the two clips I filmed. We're gonna bring them over to the timeline. This is the main one of me talking. This is the one of me just peeking over. And so you wanna mainly use the one, like your main clip. So like this will be my main clip I'm be using. And this will be the, you know, not main. And the other one, when it's half and half, this one, I just cut it right in half, like, so it's pretty easy. This is the best way to do it when it's just right and left. I made it kind of complicated on myself. So, yeah, whatever. So you're going to take the first one, you're going to make it bigger so you can drag this underneath it, just like that. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to double tap there. Go to effect controls, take the opacity, and bring it down so you can kind of see what's going on in the background, you know? So, that's when I get up, that's when I leave, that's when I come in right there. So see the opacity just kind of fades it so I can see both of them. So I'll click on the other one, C to cut. Click it, V to go back to mouse, delete, and then I'll go to where it ends, right there, delete that. So, it's pretty simple. Delete the keyframe so the opacity goes back. So yeah, so now you wanna figure out where you want it. So you can go back and change the opacity again, you can watch it, which I should have done, but that's right, I'll just, I want it like right here, so. That's fine with me. Now, you're gonna go in, C, cut it, click C again, cut the end. So that's the spot you're gonna be using. You can delete these or whatever. This isn't the one I use for the video, this is just me showing you a quick way to do it, so. Now you're gonna click on the top one. This is the main one. Go to effect control. So like, this is the one you're putting over this. So like, this is under. So you couldn't really do the bottom one because it's underneath, so like, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't match up. You want to do the one on top of it. So go to effect controls after you double clicked. Go to the beginning. Click on free draw busy air. Change this to 50% or 75, whatever one you like better. And now you're gonna start drawing around what you want to keep in the shot. And this is the reason I change this to 50% so I can see like around it because if it was big then I couldn't see around it you get the point so boom it's masked now let's play it come in do my weird thing it's whatever but there is one problem as you can probably see that there is a line right there from cutting so like, I don't know why, it's really just when I leaned over, my shadow just kind of made it weird and it just kind of changed the lighting. But this really isn't that big of a problem. So make sure it's selected and your mask is selected. Go to mask feather, change that. You can sharpen it or you can widen it and it just kind of fades it more. So it's like less noticeable. I usually go about right there. So then if we watch this, now it's not so noticeable. See if I change the feathers, Harper, wider. Just get a nice feather. That's good right there. 
And you want to make sure sometimes when like they reach in, see how it kind of cuts off my elbow right there? If you watch back the other videos, you'll see that happens actually a lot. I kind of was sloppy when I did it, but learn from my mistakes, I guess. So, yeah, and then that's pretty much all you do. You can mess with all the other stuff, but pretty much all you got to do is mask it, feather it, and yeah, I mean, the really, you want to make sure that you get it right when you're filming it to make it easy, because, like, see how big I am? It's hard to, like, mask out this. On this one, it was easy, because all I did was mask out straight down. And as you can see, like, I walk up, and when I walk up, look at my hand when it goes up. See, like, this shadow, like, disappears for a split second. You may have noticed that, maybe not. That's because I walked into the feather, sort of. So I should have stayed back. So, like, when you're filming these, just keep that in mind. You want to make sure, usually you want to film it, like, multiple times to get it right. And you want it, you just want it perfect, so just make sure you're thinking of that. Because it just makes your life a lot easier and you don't have to edit it a crap ton like how I I did. And yep, that's pretty much all you do. Yep. See you guys in the next tutorial or whatever. Peace.